So several different people have asked me, what is the largest rivet that I've had to deal with on the plane? It's a good question. I think the question was originally intended as, what's the largest rivet you're actually gonna have to set and not what is the largest rivet in the kit or in the entire plane? But I'm gonna answer both questions. I went through and I dug through all my rivets and uh, came to Yeagle Rivet Storage System uh, and the largest rivet I currently have is this guy. <clears throat> it is a AN470AD4-11. And it's, you know, yay big. It's not, not very big at all. So just as a quick aside, the smallest rivet you have to deal with is the uh, AD426 AN3-3, which is this little guy right here, which you probably can't see at all from this distance. And here's a picture of it. Uh, next to the larger 470 4-11 that I had spoke about earlier. Mostly this little teeny rivet is used for mating two pieces of skin together. I can't, I can't really think of what else it would be used for because it's really tiny. Now with regards to riveting on this particular plane, there are two types of rivets. Uh, there are the AN rivets which you'll constantly be hearing me refer to, you know, AN470 or whatever. And then there are blind rivets. Now a blind rivet is often referred to as a pop rivet, although the term pop is actually a brand name. And so we, we generally don't use that. Blind rivets are the ones that you use the little blind riveting tool to set them. There are two styles of AN rivets that are used throughout the airplane. There's the universal head, which looks like this, you know, an AN470. And then there's the 100 degree countersunk head, which is an AN426. Throughout my research, the, as far as I can tell, there's really only three rivet diameters used. There's the AD3, which is a 332nd rivet. There's an AD4, which is a 1 8th inch rivet. And then an AD6, which is a 3 16th rivet, but it's only used by older kits as far as I can tell. The older main wing spar construction does use the 3 16th rivets, the AD6s, which requires a very high setting pressure, necessitating a heavy duty rivet gun or a fairly large rivet squeezers. RV kits nowadays have pre-assembled spars, so you really don't have to deal with the 3 16th rivets anymore. Yay! The AD3 and the AD4 rivets, which are your uh, 332nd and 1 8th rivet, is what you're going to be using throughout the entire plane. The only place that I have found that has the larger 3 16th rivet, which is the AD6, are these guys right here. And these have a really high pressure requirement for setting them, and we don't have the equipment to do it. Uh, I, I, the bucking bar required to do this would probably break your hand. In fact, I'm, probably, I'm pretty sure that every one of these are actually squeezed. We don't have to do that anymore. Apparently on some of the older kits, they would ship this stuff to you in multiple bars. Like this is, this is, uh, this is one single piece now, this one bar stock and some of the pieces on the, uh, the other wing spars are that way too, but now it's just one solid piece of aluminum and you don't have to sit there and rivet up multiple, multiple layers. Thank God. Um, and they do this for you. So as far as I can tell from my research, the only rivets that you have to deal with anymore are the threes and the fours. And really the biggest quote unquote rivet would be that 4-11, I think I saw a 412 somewhere, which is just really long kind of unwieldy really, but it's just because there's a lot of material. So not difficult, not big, a standard bucking bar can handle it just fine. I hope that answers your question.